joy of motoring as it used to be, free of traffic jams, stress and accidents. That's the dream of every driver who wants to get from A to B safely and efficiently. But driving is not always a pleasure. If you want to get about, you often have to sit in queues. And vice versa, all too often parking your car means driving round and round in circles first. The symptoms of an apparently insoluble traffic problem. All the same, man's will to be on the move is unbroken. Our present day lifestyle, society and the economy require mobility. the solution look like in the near future? 8.30 a.m. Sylvia Becker, TV news editor, calls up the latest traffic information for the route to work using interactive video techs. What will soon be even more flexible than VTX is an onboard computer being developed here in the BMW Research and Engineering Center jointly with partner companies. It can work out the best route to a specified destination. All the important data can be displayed graphically on a screen possibly even reflected in the windscreen as a head-up display or given acoustically as synthesized speech. Sylvia uses her car every day. She lives 15 miles outside Munich, works irregular hours and in several different locations. Today, she enters as her destination the television studios. The computer works out the ideal route under the prevailing conditions and calculates the distance and estimated journey time. The onboard computer of the future can do more than that. It processes all the current information on traffic density, gives an audible warning of traffic jams ahead, warning congestion on the next junction, and recommends detours on quieter roads. urgent date in the city. His onboard computer has told him that all car parks are full and the traffic in the city center is at a standstill after an accident. The computer recommends he use public transport to get there in time. Buses, cars and trains will be networked with one another. This is called cooperative traffic management. BMW has provided the stimulus for this experimental model in North Munich, a significant contribution to reducing the strain which transport puts on the environment. The starting point for numerous approaches to solving traffic problems is Prometheus. What is behind this research project, which began in late 1986? The problem comes when many people want to move about at the same time. Accidents, noise, smell and pollution, congestion, jam. Road traffic in city centers has already reached saturation point and in many cases exceeds the tolerance limit. Yet the number of cars continues to grow. That is the reason for Prometheus, backed by the European motor industry. Prometheus is a program for European road traffic. It aims at the highest efficiency and hitherto unattained safety. Headed by the car manufacturers of six European countries, the participants are the electronics and parts industries, universities and research institutes, traffic engineers and government authorities. Their motto is, traffic concerns us all. Europe therefore researches and acts together for the benefit of all. Let us think back to the first classic step towards the solution before Prometheus came into being. People tried to increase the capacity of road transport. The goal was roads and cities suitable for motor cars and also technical improvements to the cars themselves. Admittedly, this led to appreciably better cars, but it was not enough to solve the traffic problem. From the start, Prometheus looked further and wider. Road traffic was conceived as a whole as a closed system with close interactions between vehicles and pedestrians, car 
cars and other cars. Cars and two wheelers. That was the second step. The next step, the third one, has to carry on from there. Prometheus recognizes that road transport can only function as a sensible combination of cars, buses, trains, and aircraft, and everyone must be seen as a user of this overall system. It can still be a long way from perceiving the nature of the problem to solving it. It was not until the advent of present-day information and communications technology that solutions became feasible which were previously impossible or didn't make sense for technical or economic reasons. These are the goals of Prometheus. To increase safety. Reduce pollution. Increase efficiency. Reduce stress and improve economy. Each of the car manufacturers involved in Prometheus is concentrating on particular projects designed to benefit drivers like Sylvia Becker. BMW is carrying out its own research work both within the scope of Prometheus and to supplement the program. A few examples from BMW research projects. A journey into the future. Fog has settled on the countryside. Sensors next to the headlights measure the visibility. The computer then calculates a recommended speed, which is displayed in the driver's field of view. The vision enhancer system was originally intended to improve visibility at night or in poor weather conditions. The test vehicle keeps an eye on the course of the road with optical and infrared video cameras. Above, the normal vision. Below, the infrared image that could be presented to the driver projected on the windscreen. And why was this approach abandoned? The main reason was that the engineers were afraid drivers would be more prepared to take risks if their vision was artificially enhanced. The present day line of research is to develop systems that back the driver up. Like ABS anti-lock brakes, they should offer assistance in critical situations, but they're activated by the driver, who retains full responsibility for his vehicle in the future as much as today. A further project, Companion is a warning system made up of linked marker posts. We call them warning beacons at the sides of the road. These beacons are activated if the traffic flow is somehow interrupted. If an accident occurs, an emergency call is sent out automatically to the nearest rescue control center, which switches on the beacons. The nearer you get to the danger point, the faster they flash. At the same time, the color changes from yellow to red. Approaching vehicles are warned in good time. The flashing yellow beacon at the side of the motorway means caution, reduce speed. Companion lesses the risk of pileups after an accident or breakdown. This system is particularly useful at recognized black spots, especially at night or in fog. The next research project is heading control. The video camera in the test car recognizes the course of the road ahead by following the verge. The video signals are fed into a computer. Departures from the ideal course can be corrected automatically. Again, we have to be careful. What is technically feasible is not necessarily a sensible solution. BMW would be capable of building a car with fully automatic steering, but is restricting itself to steering assistance. Incorrect or insufficient lock is reported to the driver by a force applied to the steering wheel. It's then up to him or her to correct it. In future, the driver's hands stay where they belong on the wheel. One more project, early warning of potential crashes. In the traffic of the future, there'll be cars that recognize when they're on a collision course with another vehicle or stationary object. Such a warning system could attract Sylvia's attention to the minibus that is turning into the road ahead and help prevent a possible accident. It's also possible to imagine several linked warning systems with the option of intervening in critical situations. An example, 
The collision warning attracts Sylvia's attention to the careless cyclist. That gives her time to brake and take avoiding action. But suppose she doesn't brake hard enough. Then an intelligent braking system activated by her could generate precisely the brake pressure that the situation requires. Or she applies too much or too little lock. Then steering assistance could correct the error. One thing is certain. The human alone decides when and whether to make use of the support systems. They must not be allowed to distract or even overtax him. In the meantime, Sylvia has reached the television studios without any traffic jams or stress, and most important, safely. Together, the companies involved in Prometheus have developed a visionary idea into a concrete program. The proposed solutions are important steps towards making traffic in all European countries safer, more comfortable and more transparent than it is today. Mobility will once again become the joy of motoring.